All right, Leah. So, uh, what do we uh, what do we got for today? Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Which do you want first? Bad news. Well, the bad news is this is the last episode of Dying to Know. Then <laughs> what's the good news? Well, the good news is this is the last episode of Dying to Know before the game releases, ah. which is pretty soon. Yeah, it's uh, February 4th, 2022. February the 4th. Millions of people are waiting very excitedly for the release, including ourselves. Uh, yeah, thank you for being patient, guys, really. Uh, February is coming quickly, but meanwhile... Meanwhile, we've, we've got a whole Dying to Know show to get on with, and it's going to be a special one. We've got a special guest, we've got special information about Techland GG, and... And we have a launch trailer, which will give you one final glimpse of the game before it gets released. You guys know the drill, right? Stay... Human! With us. Beginning of the sh show, we stay with us. Uh, let's check and see. Oh, I can't believe it's the final episode already. Yep. <laughs> it's gone so quickly. Do you remember the first episode of Dying to Know? Yeah, I, um, I think it started with um, Aiden standing on that table. I'm a pilgrim, an outcast. Roaming like a Japanese ronin or an Old West desperado. My past is dark, but my future has a tiny, dying light at the end of this tunnel. Hello, guys. My name is Jonas Scott, and I voice Aiden Caldwell in Dying Light 2. But before that, I'm going to host this program with Leia. Aw, look at your little costume. <laughs> it's like the real Aiden Caldwell was just standing in front of me. Right, and speaking of costumes, you remember our UGC contest, right? Now, the deadline for that was January 10th, so you won't really be able to submit anything now. But soon, you'll be able to see the finalists for each category, including fan art, cosplay, and story. Those finalists will be available next week, and you can check them out on our contest website or on Techland GG's hub. Finding finalists for each of those categories was incredibly difficult because you guys sent us some really awesome stuff. And here's a sneak peek at some of the best works. Hi everyone, my name is Irina Meyer and I'm one of the jury members of Dying Light 2 Cosplay Contest and I'm very excited and I'm very honored to be part of such an amazing and interesting project. And I saw some of our participants and I have to say that some of these works are really amazing. Very, very soon we will announce you the final results. So keep your eyes peeled, keep yourself warm and don't forget to stay human. So somebody asked me the other day if you can play Dying Light to stay human in co-op, and guess what I said? I'm guessing you said yes. Absolutely, because not only can you play Dying Light to stay human in co-op, you can also finish the game in co-op, which oh, is impressive. Really? Yeah, huh. absolutely. And, it's uh, fantastic news. Exactly, and not only that, but I mean, if I'm the host and my friends come in as guests to yeah. my session, they get to keep their items and their player progression <sighs> wow. and all of that, um, but they're just kind of in my narrative story, right? right? right, right. So I'm hosting the story for them. Um, but guess what? What? There's also the element of choice and consequence well, because... Big. Right, yeah. what would Dying Light 2 be without choice and consequence, right? Um, so, you know, if we come to a narrative fork in the road yeah. and there's a choice to be made that's going to change the outcome of the story, yeah. everyone gets to vote on it. Everybody oh, in the game. Oh, that's neat. Right, and the host gets the final say in where you end up. Huh. So, so everyone gets democracy has come to the city. Absolutely, it has. I, I, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to, like, jump in with my friends yeah. and watch them do some sick parkour. Yeah. And, I don't know, murder some monsters with baseball bats yeah. and decide the fate of Aiden Coldwell okay, single handedly. Okay, February 4th. <laughs> Leah, all that's going to happen on February 4th, yes. I promise. February 4th. We'd once again like to thank you all for your overwhelmingly positive response to Techland GG. That's right, we have been delighted with the response to the quest we've added to Techland GG. So much so that we are still adding more and there are now over 50, 50 quests for you to check out. So go find them all. And uh, what else is new? Well, we've completely overhauled the player profile, we've added a few new awards, and we've brought something very special back. The I Am The Cure Banshee comic is now available once again for everyone.
That's right, so go to Techland GG and try and win all of the Dying Light 2 prizes to give yourself a head start before the launch. Good luck. February 4th is coming soon and the game is ready to be released on all platforms. How can we be so sure? Well, thanks to the confidence that you have given us, all of you currently watching and those who attended the preview events. See for yourself. Throughout the past five episodes, we've been showing you what the game looks like. And I think we can agree, it looks incredible. But... Real question is, how's the game gonna look on your screen in your home? Let's take a quick look at a platform comparison video put together by a few of the devs. <laughs> Not bad. I wonder how it feels. You know, you work on a big, complex game for years, and then suddenly one day, bam, it's done. What do you think? How do you think the devs feel? Joy, because it's finally finished? Or sadness, because it's finally finished? Good question. We spoke to a few of them to find out. Watch this emotional video full of passion, sacrifice, and longing. Because even though Techland have promised that Dying Light 2 Stay Human will be supported just as strongly as the first, for these devs, it's still the end of an era. And we are here in the Frank's Canteen. It's a place from our game, but in the real life in our company. Super cool. But jump to beginning. We want to create a game when you decide something, and you change the world, change environment, change level design, because we are level designers and that was our point. It was something that we did a lot of times when we need to figure out something, it's good to create a prototype. So we did one, but this time it was a micro version of our whole game world, and I placed it way up into the sky. Yeah, but it's no longer there. Peter deleted and you can't find it, but you can find a lot of super cool stuff that we hide in the, you know, places everywhere on the huge map. I believe you will get a lot of fun to find it. My name is Simon, and I am one of the senior producers working on Dying Light 2 Stay Human. Today we are at the mock-up room when we are capturing movement of our characters. Speaking of which, I remember the times when I read the script for the first time and it came to me how big of a story it is. I've been counting characters that we need to produce and it came to conclusion that we've got over 600 of them which are actually speaking in game. And if you will add the ones which are not speaking, we ended up with 1300. So this is like really like amazing big story that we've got and prepared for you. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Working on such a big and complex project uh, is all about the people. Uh, together with gameplay team, uh, with animators, gameplay programmers and QA. Uh, we are working on delivering the best experience in parkour, combat uh, and all the open world mechanics you will discover soon in the game. Something that people loved about Dying Light 1 was uh, parkour uh, and that was uh, fighting with zombies. In Dying Light 2 we've uh, managed to combine parkour and combat into one thing. Uh, and I think you guys are gonna love it. Uh, we've been playing for some time and uh, we really enjoy it, uh, but I really envy you that you're gonna experience it for the first time with your fresh eyes. But Dying Light 2 is not only about graphics. We also wanted to secure very strongly audio side. We've been planning to do full orchestra to record our soundtrack. And we wanted to have all the sections, you know, we wanted to do it in Abbey Road when the Beatles like been recording their albums. But then pandemic kick in 
and we needed to do it online and revive our plans. So we got this high-end tech with zero lag just to be able to stream the whole thing for the whole company. And it was super exciting. It boosts morale of everybody. And we've been watching it in the evening, seeing how it's being born. We hope and we know that you will find a lot of uh, emotions inside. You're going to find them all. Uh, you're going to laugh. You're going to uh, be scared. Uh, and I'm sure as well that you're going to spend long hours playing the game when it's out on February 4th. And we are here after all of that Six years? Over six years? Yeah, six years of hard work, a lot of experiments. We we did a, we learned a lot. Yeah, pain, fun, years. fun, pain. Yeah. There's a lot of emotions, but at the end, I think we're really, really proud of yeah. what, what we achieve, and uh, we hope you will have fun playing Dying Light, I'm Stay Human. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, bye, guys, and stay, stay human. human. Wow. Yeah. What a great team. Yeah, right? I was quite emotional watching that. You're gonna be okay? <laughs> almost. Right? I said almost. Okay. <laughs> you know, Leah, before I got asked to host Dying to Know, uh, before I was even cast as Aiden, I was a huge fan of Dying Light. Still am. I have over a thousand hours in the game. And you want to know what my favorite part of Dying Light is? Okay, all right. Let me guess. Okay. The open world. No. Okay. The parkour? It's very good, but no. Okay. Mm, the combat? Uh, no. <laughs> the monsters. No, okay, yes to all of that. <laughs> but my absolute favorite part of Dying Light is the community. And I'm not just talking about the 100,000, you know, hundreds of thousands of people who play Dying Light to this day daily. I'm talking about the community on Twitter. I'm talking about the community on Twitch, on Discord. You know who you are. You guys have supported Techland in an over six plus year development. And for that, we can't thank y'all enough. So right here, this, what we're doing right now, is for you. Thank you so much. You see that again? You see that? It's beautiful. Oh, I can't believe it. No, I just can't believe it. In every episode of Dying to Know, we've shown you some exclusive gameplay. And this episode will be no different. But before we get into the city, I'd like to remind you of somebody who's already there waiting for you. Luan, played by Rosario Dawson. If you'd like to see Rosario talking about her role in Dying Light 2 Stay Human, then check out our YouTube channel, where she talks about her role as Luan. Hi, I'm Rosario Dawson. You will know me as Luan, who is fighting her past and looking to seek revenge on the people who wronged her. Before you watch the YouTube, Make sure to stay here and check out what Luan has put together for us. It's new exclusive content for all those who've pre-ordered the game as well. The Reach for the Sky exclusive digital content pack is created in collaboration with Rosario Dawson and includes a unique outfit, a paraglider skin, weapon skin, and backpack. Yeah, that's right. It includes a crossbow skin for Luan, a paraglider and backpack skin for Luan and Aiden, and a full new outfit for Luan. So remember to pre-order the game and, as the name suggests, Reach for the sky. It's become tradition by now that every episode of Dying to Know comes with its own gameplay video. And today will be no different. You'll get your gameplay trailer, but on today's gameplay trailer, it's gonna be a little bit something uh, special. We're gonna be recapping all of the distinctive elements in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. So let's explore the vast open world. Let's go and meet the monsters roaming in the city streets below and see how everyone's surviving up on the rooftops. Yeah, for the last time before the game premiere, we're going to give you a close look at Dying Light 2 Stay Human so that on February 4th, 2022, you can get in the city and... Uh... And fight to survive in this post-apocalyptic horror game. Don't screw up the password again. This time, we'll blow your head off. Sweet. Love you too. You better get it right. Now listen, Steve, don't try to warn anyone I'm here. Rainer said you were a pilgrim. Heard of your business. You think your barking will make an impression on me? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. Promise you'll never leave me alone here. Never. I won't leave you. I swear. I don't have to. Not him, no! Long time ago, Waltz heard her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. Well, that kind of information is expensive. Well, maybe I can help you. 
Welcome to paradise. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? I wish Crane could have seen this. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider, I work for myself. Here we're all infected. Are you scared of them? Most people are. Those who are weak just give up. Keep them busy. They stop caring about anything. Give up on life, but you, you still care. Drop him. One move and he dies. Drop him. You're no leader, Kong. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots. I christen you a citizen of Vinador. And in the name of law, you're sentenced to death for treason. I know what loss is like. Talking about Don't someone in particular? She trusted you, and Don't you failed her. I'll be okay. You pay for that. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Sometimes, you have to become a monster to stay human. <laughs> Nothing could ever tear us apart anyway. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. You understand nothing. A little boy wants to pretend he's a grown-up. A precious little boy. Well, that was intense. Yep. I can't wait to play this game again. <laughs> this is the end of our show, but we still have one more thing. Yeah, our special guest. Mm -hmm. Without whom, we wouldn't be here today. Without whom, there would be no Aiden Caldwell. There'd be no vast open city to explore. Or cool parkour tricks to pull off. Or creative and brutal combat. Yeah, the combat. Or there would be no monsters roaming the city at night to terrorize us. Or humans who are just as dangerous during the day. The characters, the dialogue, the story. Ladies and gentlemen, our final special guest are all the people who worked on Dying Light 2 Stay Human. And we asked them all one simple question. What are you most proud of working on Dying Light 2? Hi, we're the CQA team and we're most proud of reaching the gold status with Dying Light 2 Stay Human. I'm proud of all the gameplays and trailers I've made for Dying Light 2. For the English translation of the dialogue. Iconography that has been created for user interface. Being the host of Time to Know More series. How good level design we achieve. Lot of cocktails and other explosives. Because who doesn't like to blow things up? I'm most proud of the videos that we are making the whole team for you guys. I'm proud that I got to lend my voice to Aiden Caldwell in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Dream come true, thank you. And I'm proud that I got to co-host Dying to Know alongside Jonah and get to know all of you and the dev team. It's been amazing, so thank you. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. <laughs>